Now, I'm joined now by John Nathaniel Pastral, who is the stepson of Paul Henri Nagiole, who was on the Titan. Um, John Nathaniel, I, I, I thank you for joining us, and I, I'm very sorry for your loss, and we appreciate your time and offer our condolences to you and your family. Thank you for having me. How will you remember your, your stepfather? Uh, fearless. Um, this is warm uh, burst of energy I always got from being with him. He's this incredible human being. I mean, we can, you know, talk forever about um, his impact in the ocean. But for me, the impact was mostly felt out of the ocean. You know, being my stepfather, um, you know, sometimes those relationships can be tricky. Um, you, you know, you never wanted to intrude on, you know, uh, your relationship with your mother and my father. Um, but he was, he was, uh, so polite about everything. So respectful, um, that, you know, he treated my mom extremely well. He treated me well as, you know, in some important moments in my life as I was growing up. Um, so it meant so much to me that he was respectful. Um, but in the, you know, in the more calm times when it was just myself and him and my mom and you know, and my wife, it, it was just this, these memories that will last with me forever in terms of the, the warm, you know, welcoming dinners and long nights of conversations and story sharing. It, it's just, um, it's still just truly so hard to, to process that he's not here anymore. Yeah. And he, of course, visitors the Titanic wreck many, many times. I'm sure he would have would he told, had told you about some of those journeys that he took. Yes, he did. Um, you know, it, it, it's funny. It's one of those things where he went so often that um, I just kind of got used to him saying, oh, I'm going back to the Titanic wreck. I'm doing another dive and this. And so it was, I, I hate to make it sound like not important because it's it's truly extraordinary what he's done, but um, he just did it so many times. And he's such an expert on it um, that, you know, I know anyone who ever had any questions about, about the Titanic always went to him. And he always had the answers too. And you know, he always explained every, everything so thoroughly, um, was always careful, too, about saying, you know, what he knew for certain and what he didn't know for certain. Mm. So um, he was just a, such a special person to be around. Uh, did he ever talk to you about this particular submersible, this this Titan craft? Uh, in terms of the craft, no, he did uh, mention that he was going on this trip to me. Uh, we had last met in May. Uh, for dinner um, with his wife, he mentioned that he was going on this trip. Um, I was not exactly aware of the exact day that he was going down to the Titanic, but I knew he was on this trip. Um, and I was actually planning on seeing him uh, in early July uh, back at his home. God, that's so tragic. I'm sorry about that. I mean, I guess when you saw the news, um, you know, this was something that he loved doing, but how were you and the family during these past few days? Uh, it, as you can probably imagine, it's it, to me, I, I feel like I've been living a nightmare. Um, just every day, every bit of information we could get, um, you know, you hang on to it, everything from, you know, the noises to, you know, other, uh, other information. We were just so hopeful. And I think that's, that's kind of what was carrying us through, you know, the early stages and even into, you know, Thursday morning. Um, we were just so hopeful that when the right equipment got there, they would be able to find um, the Titan intact with them in there. Um, and, you know, they'd still be here with us. Um, you know, I, I think myself personally, I had moments of, you know, picturing what I would say to him when I saw him, you know, the things we would talk about, the, you know, the dinner we would have, you know, the celebratory drinks that he was, he was still here and, um, you know, and plenty of questions, of course, for him. But, you know, I just... I was so focused on those moments of um, how special it would be to be with him again. Um, and unfortunately, you know, our, our, our hearts were broken um, Thursday morning when we got news of the debris. And um, it's been incredibly difficult since then for myself and his children, his wife and, and everyone in this family. Uh, and the final thought, we don't have loads of time, but you will now be looking for some answers as to what exactly happened here. Yes, and, and we are we're ready to let that process play out. Um, you know, I don't want to speak too much on it. I think for myself and the family, the focus okay. is on remembering PH. Um, there's so much, you know, to know about him as a person, okay. and we're, you know, we're Jonathan, ready to, to celebrate. We've run short of time. I apologize for cutting you off, but thank you.